So, hi, this is Brian coming to you from Mazalan, Mexico, and I want to have a deep dive with you about two really important things when it comes to meeting women and why so many people are missing this other piece. So before we get started, I want to invite you to like, subscribe and share. And the more you can share, the more I appreciate it because the channel is not getting the views it used to get. So any share that you you put out there really helps us to keep this channel uh, solid and give you the best information possible. So let's dive right in. These two important things are really important. And one of them I referenced in my last video, if you haven't seen it, you definitely got to check it out. And I've done video series on how to get good at approaching, where I did like a five or six video series. And we can link that somewhere in here. And um, it's on one of my playlists. But what I want to talk about here is the two things you need to do. And you can use these two videos to become really good at approaching. Number one, you need to approach regularly. This is important. A lot of guys, they want to think about approaching. They want to work on their fear and their worries and their doubt and their internals, which is just as if not more important than the approaching. But the approaching is essential, too. It's like two. Uh, it's like one ingredient in a stew that if you're missing it, it's going to make the stew terrible. So what I recommend to people is, you know, at least do two, one to two approaches a day with women where you're really flirting with the girls or attempting to meet women. Let's put it that way. You don't even have to be flirting on, just tempting, being direct, being flirty, asking a girl on a date, a girl you like. And then you can do as many as you want a day, maybe 10 highs or, or stops where you're just practicing being social. The practicing being social is essential. This is really important. And I'm going to go a little deeper into each of these in a moment. And then number three, work every day on the internal stories and the game that comes up. Most guys skip that piece. They leave out the part where they work on what they feel about themselves, where they take a deeper look at how they feel as a man, how they feel as a human being, and how they feel as a sexual being. Like, I feel a certain way as a man. As, as a man, do I feel solid? Do I feel grounded? Do I feel attractive? Do I feel like I'm bringing value to women's lives? As Brian, do I feel good enough as a man? Do I feel like men are deserving? Do I feel like Brian is deserving? That's a better way to put it. And then number three is, do I feel like a sexual being? Like as a man, am I comfortable with sex and sexuality? And do I own my sexuality as a man? If you start to nail these three things in combination with approaching, regular approaching practice, your skill set is going to go through the roof. And then I'm going to add one bonus element, go on dates. I, I shouldn't have to say this, but when you start to approach and you get a, any woman that wants to go on a date, you don't have to get serious with her. You don't have to have sex with her. You don't have to kiss her. Just go on dates. Get the practice of going on dates. I can tell you how many clients I run into that approach a lot, but never ask women on dates or never go on dates, never try to go on dates. They just want to get good at approaching. It's a weird thing, but the whole reason you're approaching is to go on dates. And... Sometimes they're like, well, unless she's like model perfect, she's like going to be my wife or some girl that I can see as a girlfriend or some girl that I find attractive and I don't want to go on a date with her. And I'm like, no, just go on a date, just go on a coffee date, just go on an instant date to go sit down and have a cup of coffee together, go for a walk on the beach, get comfortable making women smile and enjoying them and appreciating them. Because if you wait till the right woman comes into your life. And then you try to go on your first date. It's going to be too late. And I've seen that happen and crash miserably. I've had clients calling me because they refuse to go on dates when they meet the woman of their dreams and saying, what do I do? And I'm like, well, it's a little late now, you know, it's, and I'll do my best to help them, but it's, it's a challenge. So let's go back through this with a little more detail because this is really important. When you're approaching, what are you really doing? When you're approaching, you're practicing opening up and being social in front of another human being. You're practicing being grounded. You're practicing having your heart open and relaxing. You're practicing feeling your power as a man and just enjoying the human being in front of you, the beautiful woman in front of you. And that's the real skill set. You're not trying to practice winning her over, impressing her. What you're working on doing at that point is practicing being a man that is attractive to women, literally learning to enjoy yourself, enjoy your own heart, enjoy your own turn on, and then enjoying her through the process of enjoying yourself. As you start to do that, you're going to find more and more women get magnetized to you because they respond to how you feel about yourself. So the question I have right now that's very important is how do you feel about you? Put that in the comments if you don't mind. I'd love to see that. But how do you feel about you? When you're flirting with a woman, how do you feel about you? When you're being direct and, and doing a direct approach, how do you feel about you? 
when you start to talk sexual to a woman you've just met and get a little turned on, how do you feel about you? This is all really important. This is why this other piece where you work on your beliefs, your internal beliefs, the way you feel about yourself as a, as a man, as an individual, like I am Brian, and as a sexual being is so important. Because for you to truly be comfortable in front of a beautiful woman and open up and enjoy her from your turn on, from what's going on inside of you, you've got to have a good relationship with you. And that is the part that I see so many people fall down on. So I'm taking that a little deeper today. See, each approach that you do is going to have a certain amount of tension. If I walk up and say, uh, excuse me, do you know where Starbucks is? That has a certain amount of attention in it. If I walk up and say, excuse me, do you know where Starbucks is? And then she starts to answer and I go, you know, I really don't care. I just want to say hi to you. That has another level of tension. If I walk up and say, hi, um, I just saw you from over there and I just had to meet you. There's, there's just something about you. That has another level of tension in it. And mastering each level of tension, getting comfortable, getting good at each level of tension. So your sub communication's right, your vocal tone's right, your heart's open, you're grounded requires a certain level of comfort with yourself, with feeling your own body, enjoying being you, enjoying being a man, enjoying being turned on, and then reflecting that back to the human being in front of you, to the beautiful woman in front of you. And that's why really taking a deep look at letting go in your belief systems, which lead to your subcommunication, is so important. You see, I run into a lot of clients that wall off, lock out at the neck and say, hi, I um, just want to say hi to you or, you know, there's something about you and there's just no feeling in the body. And you're not giving her anything to relate to. And I know you've experienced this. I want you to think about it as a man. When have you been approached by a salesperson that wanted something from you? You can feel it and they're locked out there in their head. They're trying to sell you or maybe they're pushy and they're pushing really hard. When have you been approached by a woman that was trying to manipulate you and you just knew it? She was trying to turn on all her sexual charm just to get something from you. Maybe she wasn't even good at it or maybe she was really good at it, but it was just kind of weird. I remember sitting in the W Hotel one time in West Hollywood and these three beautiful women came in, but you could feel it on them. They were hunting and they were going through that bar talking to every guy and they were flirting. The guys were shutting off on them, turning off on them because they wanted something from the men. You could feel it from a mile away. You know, they were high dollar escorts trying to work and find their next client. But as guys, we could see it from across the room. We didn't need them to come up and tell us they were an escort. And I know you've had that experience. Well, women feel the same thing from you. But when you can come up and literally enjoy yourself, because how you feel about yourself is solid. I'm a man. I love being a man. I'm turned on. I love being turned on. I got an open heart because I care about people as a man. I can feel my stomach because I've got personal power inside of me. And I feel that instincts, that gut instincts, the animal instincts inside of me. And because of all that, I know just what to say. I'm not in my head. Hey, what's your name? Now oh, there's something interesting about you. I just had to come over here and meet you. You're really comfortable in the silence. So many guys, they think in the silence and rather than just enjoy the human being in front of you, enjoy your own turn on while you're in the silence. Enjoy your own body while you're in the silence and let her see you doing it. This is what I'm talking about. Being so comfortable in the way you feel about yourself. As an individual, as a man, and as a sexual being, that she feels it coming off of you. She feels that turn on. She feels that power. So I want to invite you into this idea that you can clean this whole area of your life up. You can begin to feel turned on as a man. You can feel solid and powerful, like you're in your, your instinctual animal as a man. You can feel your heart as a man. And she can too. And you can get so comfortable in it that you don't give a fuck what she thinks of you. That allows you to truly enjoy her. It's not that you don't care at all. It's just that you're not attached to the outcome. If she rejects you, doesn't reject you. And that just allows you to really enjoy her, which allows her to enjoy you. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Definitely check out my previous video. Check out my letting go video, which is linked in that previous video. And if you're interested in learning more how to let all these stories go and these beliefs go, check out my revealing mastery course. 
And um, with that said, remember, only the confident really live. And I'll see you in the next video.